In today's video tutorial, we're going to discuss the three most common reasons why a color or texture isn't appearing in your SketchUp file with the relevant material. Okay, so you've gone to your materials tray, you've clicked the pin to keep it active, you've selected your material, your textures in there, you're ready to go. And you click your material, you bring it over, to your face in your file, okay? The face in this instance is the floor and you've clicked and I'm clicking right now and I can't see anything changing. There's no color, there's no texture. Well, there should be color and texture because I'm using a wooden floor material. One of the biggest reasons why this happens is because you're using the wrong style, okay? At the start of my courses, I always recommend for SketchUp when it comes to technical floor plans and elevations that you use the style of hidden line. This is because everything is automatically in black and white and it's just a more efficient way to work. However, if you decide that you would like to add color and texture and you forget to change the style, no matter how many times you click that face, to apply color or texture, it will never be visible because of the style you have chosen. So you would need to go into your styles tray and change the style to shaded with textures. That's the style that I recommend because it's also a fast modeling style, which means that it's just generally more efficient. So if you click that, you will see that all of the colors and textures that have been applied in this floor plan have now appeared because we have chosen the correct style. Obviously, if I hadn't have uh, clicked all the necessary colors and textures in all of these areas uh, beforehand, they wouldn't be appearing now. It's because I already chose all those colors and textures, and now that I have the correct style, they are appearing in the file. The second most common reason as to why color or texture isn't appearing in a file is because the face has been inadvertently deleted. And what I mean by that is that you have been working away and creating geometry and for whatever reason, the face that you're now trying to apply color to is no longer there. There's a really quick way to work out whether there is a face present in your floor plan or elevation or even your 3D model, okay? If you click the area where you are wanting to apply color or texture with your cursor, okay? So with the select tool, I want you to click any area on your file, like I am right now, and you will see a dotted texture. That dotted texture is confirming to you that there is a face there, that a face is present. Okay, and if I click this area, you can see a dotted texture. If I click the char tray area, you can see a dotted texture. And if I click the area in the white space to the right of the floor plan, that texture is no longer visible because I have deselected everything in that floor plan. Okay, now if I click the floor of this main bedroom floor plan, there is no dotted texture. That's telling me that there is no face in this area. I have probably deleted it inadvertently. And in order to address this, you need to reinstate the face. I go into this in my courses, but I'm going to show you very quickly in this floor plan how you can very easily reinstate a face. And the way you do that is by drawing a line from one side of the area to the other. So all the way around here is the boundary of this main floor where we have no face. And I want to draw a line from this edge all the way to this edge. Or I could use this edge all the way to this edge. Choose the easiest, the most straightforward route in order to uh, draw a line across the, the face well, where the face used to be. So let's click our line tool and I'm going to go right here because there's no geometry in the way here, whereas there's loads of stuff uh, in this direction. So I'm going to click this edge 
and I'm going to bring it along the red axis and I'm going to click the other edge. Okay, now as soon as I've done that, there's been a little bit of an issue here. We're not going to panic. We're going to deal with that in a minute. I'm going to click on my select tool and I'm going to click this main area where the bedroom is and you can see that the dotted texture is back. Okay, so now that means there is a face there, okay? But you will see that something a little bit weird has happened here with this face on the chair. And sometimes that happens. It's a little bit of a quirk that's associated with SketchUp. My solution to that is to group this entire geometry and then explode it, okay? It's easier to include the side table in that. I'm going to right click and make group. I'm going to right click and then explode. And you can see that that has been fixed. And if I click the floor, uh, the dotted texture is still appearing. But now this face has the blue on it, which it had originally. And it's no longer being selected when I select the floor. Okay, I'm going to select my material. I'm going to click that floor. And then I'm going to select my select tool and click in the white space to the right of that so that nothing is selected. And there we go. Our floor has been reinstated and I've been able to apply the wooden floor texture. The third most common reason as to why you aren't able to see a color or texture in your file is because you have enabled hidden geometry. OK, so for whatever reason, I have been working on my file. And I have decided to hide this floor. If I go into view and hidden geometry, I will see very, very small series of grid lines or tiny squares that signifies there is hidden geometry there. If I right click and select on hide and then just click in the white space to the right of that floor plan, you can instantly see that that uh, material has is now visible. Don't forget to go to view and deselect hidden geometry. And if your floor plan or elevation or 3D model is on a scene, remember to right click and select update so that you are saving those changes to your file. I hope you found this useful. Oh wow, I totally forgot to remove the line that I created when I was reinstating the floor. Guys, please don't forget to remove that line. I am so sorry. Um, you delete that because it's no longer required because you have reinstated the face. Please, please don't forget to remove the line that you draw from one side to the other.